Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's Manisha here. So today as the title suggests, I'm going to be doing a floral plaid design. And this is the beautiful plaid I'll be using. Unfortunately, it's only available in the set of five, but I have got that 20% off discount code. So I'll have the direct links for that and the stamping polishes and the stamper all from Born Pretty Store. You can use that 20% off on full and discounted products. Now I'm going to be doing a gradient. So I will be using a sponge and um, first up I'm just going to make some sort of um, decals or reverse stamping using this image here so it's got a little bit of um, plaid and a like a flower in the corner I thought it'd be quite a nice one to do for this time of the year for the northern hemisphere it's sort of got a little bit of an autumn vibe this one but still using quite nice pastel colors so it could pass up as a spring design which is the um, season that uh, we're experiencing here in New Zealand so I thought it'd be sort of like a two for one really but you can change up the colors on these and um, you know just mix things up a little bit so that one there I'm just going to put it aside to dry and in the meantime I'm going to be doing a gradient on all of my nails so I've put a little bit of liquid latex around for easy cleanup and then what I'm doing is using the blue and that really nice soft um, pale grey on the sponge just sort of loading it all up there and I'm going to be sponging that onto my nails now because these are stamping polishes they are, they are actually really opaque and um, you can get away with one to two passes of the um, sponge now normally um, wet the sponge and just sort of you know um, squeeze all the water out of it and I just find that gives a bit more of a smoother gradient but with this sponge here it's quite an open weave one and um, one advantage of it is that it does actually hold a lot of polish so you don't feel like you're doing lots and lots of layers of it to make it opaque so this is the second layer going on here so do give it a minute or so to dry in between coats and once you've done that just do some cleanup around the nails just remove that liquid latex do some cleanup and then I'm just applying applying that Orly Bonder so what that's going to do is give me a bit of a sticky base there for these decals to stick I keep calling them decals but they're actually just some reverse stamping because what's going to happen is there's parts of the image there you know the bit where the plaid part of it that hasn't actually got any other polish with it so normally it wouldn't actually transfer onto the nail so what the Orly Bonder does it just adds a little bit of a sticky um, base there for the image to kind of grab hold of and so I'm going to do that on three of my nails I've sort of done the other ones off camera and then for the pointer and the pinky I'm just going to pick up the um, this part of the design so just the plaid part the I'm just cleaning up the unnecessary bits and then I'm going to be stamping that onto the pointer finger I've just bit of made a bit of a mess of that one but I kind of just went with it and the same again on the um, pinky and then I'll clean up again and then to finish off I'm just going to add a coat of sesh feet so this will give it a really nice um, soupy, super, soupy, super glossy top coat. I can't even talk today. And um, if you want to, you can go ahead and mattify it. So with me, I normally like to mattify a lot of my designs, especially ones that have got plaid, because um, quite often plaid is sort of like, you know, reminiscent of fabric and that. And fabric, um, you know, quite often it's flannel and or cotton, that kind of material. And I always think it looks a little bit more cozy with a bit of a matte top coat over the top. But anyway, here's some pictures of the finished design. If you've enjoyed it, I love a lovely thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free to do so. You'll also find me over on Instagram. I've got a direct link down below. And apart from that, stay, take care, stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.